Hi, everyone. We are live. Hi. <laughs> yes. All right. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, good morning. Yeah. I haven't been this up early in ages. <laughs> and I'm just like, so there you go. So guys, just in case you don't you didn't know, that's Luke Vorjet from LSL Digital. Uh, <laughs> we got our cups of coffee. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we have a guest. <laughs> hey, I have mine too. Uh. <laughs> nice. Uh, so wait, 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 wait. See the logo. It was our team logo. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, nice. See, I told you I had a nice cup. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, good morning, Clarice. Good morning, Vina. How are you guys doing? This, this podcast is going to be a little bit different. It's not, well, it's a podcast, so it's not a session. Um, we hope you guys are going to join us. This is going to be quite interactive. So um, you guys throw whatever you have to say. If you want to say something, any comments, just throw it in the chat and we'll pick it up and we'll discuss about it. Um, you know, I mean, these guys have been seeing Marine and I for, for two days now. They are bored of us. So yes, let's, I let's think try you. <laughs> Talk a bit about yourself. What do you do from, from LSL, right? So a bit about what you do there. How about that? Get started. Okay. Um, yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Loic uh, Fauzi, or in English, forget. Um, okay. I'm the, the <laughs> I'm the digital director for Nasotinel Digital. Uh, I'm sure you all know most of my stuff, which is kind of, you know, representing. There's Dejas. There's quite a few of us. So we're helping with. DevCon for a good couple of years now. Um, I work for La Sentinelle, which is a media group uh, which represents L'Express, St. Louis, Business Mag, etc. Um, I started working there in 2013. My mission was then to open the video department. Uh, and then we noticed that there was uh, a need and a potential to, you know, two things for a, a kind of a technical division. Uh, and then in 2015, uh, LSL Digital was created and it kind of amalgamated all the technical knowledge of um, the group, as well as the increase in digital traffic with, you know, higher internet speeds and what have yeah. you. So my job is kind of the strategy of where we're going digitally in the group. Um, and in terms of stats, we survey, I think about 1 million users per week. Uh, oh, and our biggest flagship website is being, of course, Express Wayamu, and we get about 1 million users per month on that. And then we've got so many different platforms. I mean, YouTube, Facebook, etc. cetera. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I'm actually, I actually had a look at the, uh, at your website, lsl.digital. Um, it's, it's a really nice one. Eh? It's, the design is really clean. I mean, it it's, is. Uh, it's, yeah, it it's has very appealing. Too. Yeah, it's really appealing. And the logo, the logo is awesome. I mean, I, I don't know if I ever said yeah. that to, <laughs> to the other yeah. LSL um, your so, colleagues. So the logo, <laughs> I don't know if we can, can we show the logo? I don't have it. Where? No, I don't have the logo uh, with me here. But, uh, you if I, you I, can if, see in the ticker, oh, it's going down soon. We got okay. the logo there. Oh, uh, it's right yeah. now. <laughs> have the <tea. laughs> okay. So keep an uh, eye out for uh, yep. <laughs> LSL. Yeah. Just, uh, no, I, 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 it's like you, you guys, you know, you're the first picture to us about the logo. So the logo took us, it took us a while to figure it out. So uh, just to go through it, so you can see the, the Spartan, the classical kind of Spartan with the, the helmet. Uh, and he said, not actually a Spartan. By the way, uh, um, when we were researching, uh, we were looking up the definition of sentinel, um, and sentinel is an old Greek word um, meaning it's the soldier that keeps a lookout in case something happens. Um, and because he was Greek, uh, well, the the word was Greek sentinel. We adapted it to the Greek helmet, so the Spartan helmet, yeah. effectively. 
And the speed is kind of represents digital, so going quickly, going fast, innovation and all that. So that kind of combination. But um, yeah, it's one of the nice, let's say it's one of the nicer logos that our group actually has. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a really nice one. There, there's so much thought that went behind this then, actually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. As, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I mean, if okay. you're going to have to use it for a while, better think about it before, MBI, right? They represent yeah. digital, basically, because that's why La Sentinelle is all about mm -hmm. um, going yeah. digital. Uh, so, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a long struggle. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so today, actually, um, what we wanted to talk about um, is hey Shelly, how are you doing? Good morning, and Rangen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what we wanted to talk a bit about was um, about what happened to the world. Um, I don't know if you guys know, <laughs> if you guys heard, <laughs> the world kind of decided to crash. Okay. And um, yeah, we are you are kind of patching things up right now in a modular manner. Mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. the so the update is here. We are deploying. <laughs> the rest <laughs> of the world is still deploying. There are some places who actually uh, managed quite well. And um, Loic, for the better or worse, you were kind of stuck. In, stuck abroad. You know, yeah, for a long while. Why was the thing? Um, I think I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you exactly how long for. <laughs> so I think it's something like, I think yeah. it's something like two months. Uh, uh, no, six months and 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 two weeks or something like that. I've been stuck uh, abroad, uh, and so basically, I, I went for my usual trip. So I go to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Once a year, uh, I've loved it. I love it. It's it's been six years, and we it's kind of where all the strategy for digital digital development comes from. Um, uh, so this year, I left on Mauritius on the third of March, uh, and I went to on holiday to Barcelona first. So I was in Barcelona at the beginning, and it, it was really fun. Um, and obviously, because I was on holiday, I wasn't really paying that much attention to news, which is mm -hmm. a bit stupid. Um, and then there was this talk of COVID and, and, and you know, and things were, were going bad. And then I was like, OK, well, you know, let, let's 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 get to, to Austin um, and, and, and see what's up. But just before that, while I was in, still in Barcelona, uh, the conference South by Southwest got cancelled. So they emailed everybody and go when because of COVID it got cancelled. And I uh, uh you know I was heartbroken yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. And then I, I I everything was booked. So Airbnb was booked, the, the the plane tickets was booked. So I thought, you know, let's go out there, let's see. I'm sure there'd be other people as well that were still, you know, hanging yeah. around. So I did Barcelona Austin and then uh so I landed in Austin, and about I think three hours after I landed, the uh, USA shut down all the international flights. Oh my uh, god! And there was in uh, you know COVID uh, lockdown. So I stayed in Airbnb uh, and was wandering around Austin to find things to do, which I did actually do until it got horribly locked down because there's a lot of you know street artists and graffiti artists so I started you know following them and like you know just being busy basically um and just actually all these images you can find on my Instagram feed as well I'm going to try and find my username I think it's called uh, uh boy cried wolf boy mm -hmm. yeah that's boy cried wolf you can find all the images there from my travels anyway so then um so I, I was trying to figure out what to do. I was in touch with my parents. And then I was like, this is getting a bit expensive. So uh, I decided to move from Austin to, to Houston, where I had a friend who, who, who was living. Um, and I, 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 I took a Greyhound bus. And it was really early in the morning. So I got all my luggage, went on the Greyhound bus, um, and set off for Houston. Um, 
Now, my friend works in energy, um, uh, more precisely in uh, oil in Houston, and he, uh, during my trip between Houston, uh, sorry, Austin and Houston, he found, he messaged me and said, uh, my work has just told me that you can't stay with me because I have to self-isolate for how many months? Uh, so there I was. I had nowhere to stay, da, 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 and I was like, "Oh my god, what do I do?" Um, so th this was the the really interesting thing, and I, I, don't, I don't know if uh, other countries have had the same reaction to COVID. Um, uh, luckily for me, all the prices uh, for uh, motels, hotels, etc. Dropped by fifty percent instantly when uh, oh, COVID wow. was declared. So you could uh, manage your way. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So they, they I, I think they kind of, you know, were prepared for that. So mm -hmm. I ended up in staying in a motel for I think about a month and a half mm -hmm. uh, on a off a highway in Houston, mm -hmm. uh, and I was there trying to kind of work and staying in touch with uh, Mauritius. And I think yeah. there's a nine or ten hour time difference. So yeah. it was. It, I mean, the the team hated it. I think <laughs> because I I was I was waking up when they were going to home after work mm -hmm. and bed in the morning. So it was really it was just like you know out of uh, sync I'll completely. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'll wake up and I'll be like, hey, hang on, hang on, just before you leave, uh, you know. <laughs> Not again. Oh my God, it was dude. a tough time. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, yeah. we get it. Uh, so, that, that's the use. Sorry, this is kind of like a really long window. No, story. go on. It's yeah, it's time. an interesting it's one. <laughs> I stayed in a motel. Uh, it was the first time in a motel, and it was really interesting. For food, I have to say, it was. All through Uber Eats, um, mostly, and then I could go to the grocery now and then. Hence, why I've kind of put on a lot of weight, but you can't actually see it through Skype. Um, um, so the, it, it was it was okay. It was all right. So you know you have to be really cautious. Um, and we did. We went to go do groceries. So that was. A, really big experience in Houston when I went to do groceries shopping um, because there, there were queues. There was police in the grocery store, which uh, was a bit weird because they kept looking at what, what you were buying and making sure you weren't buying two of the same thing uh, because they had a huge issues with people coming in and just buying all the toilet paper or all the <laughs> and okay, Yeah, we saw pictures of that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, it was just ridiculous. It was like, oh my. Anyway, um, so we, we grocery, that was an experience. And then it was kind of, uh, thankfully, the internet connection was huge. Um, so I was in that, there, uh, the, the motel for a month and a half. And then my friend was like, you know, aren't you a bit bored in, in Houston? La, la, la. And he lives in Washington. So yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm kind of bored. It's been a month and a half. And it was, by the way, if anybody has not been to Texas, it's so hot. Like in Mauritius, <laughs> you complain about heat, but over there, it's like, oh, oh my God. Um, I'm staying away from so... Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't li I don't like heat. I don't like it when it's hot. <laughs> so... <laughs> I want to go check it out. <laughs> so uh, so I, I think I took a, a, a plane trip. Uh, sort of mid to end of April uh, and the, uh, thankfully the planes were still running so uh, the day I left Houston it was 40 degrees and I was like I, I can't deal with this uh, okay. so and then I went to Washington and then it was cold in Washington so you know give and take yeah um, so I stayed with my friend in Washington uh, I stayed in Another motel in Washington, and then we went, you know, we went around, you know, still, this is like full-on COVID, this, this is like COVID lockdown, so mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, we kind of uh, strolled around, you know, empty Washington, um, 
and it, it was really interesting. It's like, you know, all these, and then you started to feel like, you know, well, this this is full on because yeah. Washington yeah. was. I mean, you know, you could go down to the uh, Lincoln Memorial. There was literally like five people. You, you know, all this Ooh. kind of like White House was usually uh, is really busy. Nobody. Um, so that was, you know, it was really weird. Um, so I was there for, um, I think, a couple of weeks. I think two or three weeks or something like that. Uh, and then... I managed to get a flight back to London, um, which uh, was really cool okay. because the only flight from America to London was in uh, from Washington. So I was in Washington, mm -hmm. so I was really lucky. Yeah. So I got a flight, I think, on the 20th of May then, and uh, Washington, London. And then I stayed at a friend's house. Um, in London when I arrived and, and, and London was super weird as well same story you know empty city and you know it was really surreal what's, what's interesting um, is you know none of this was really planned you're you're kind of just adjusting as you're going along here yeah, over there. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of people who were like you know how do you do it how do you how, how do you not plan yeah. how do you you know how do you not um, stress yeah. about it <laughs> get yeah. a panic attack uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I, I I think when when you're in the kind of situation, you you don't have a choice. You just, mm -hmm. just like, fight okay, or flight. Well, just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you're you, fighting to to your know, flight to go. <laughs> <laughs> fighting yeah. to escape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, was in London. Stayed at my friend for a bit. I went to see some family in the Midlands. And, uh, and then I, I was in London and then I went to the studio uh, because there were no hotels. There was, mm -hmm. there was nothing. There was Airbnb, Airbnb had shut down. Uh, and I was in London between uh, end of May till September, basically. Um, and I think that was, that, that's it, really. So, you, you know, the, I think in London it was very interesting uh, mm -hmm. as well very empty and you know food delivery the same thing groceries face masks etc i have to say though that uh, the americans were a lot better at wearing face masks than the english or the londoners at least because uh, i arrived in in at heathrow and nobody was wearing face masks and i was like this is a bit weird anyway um mm -hmm. um so I stayed there, and yeah, that, that was it. And then London slowly starting opening up, uh, which was cool. Uh, but as I was leaving, I think last week it started getting worse again. So because I didn't have Wi-Fi, I was only tethering on my, the, my phone. That's how I had it. Oh, my phone. goodness. Uh, uh, but I have to say, the internet was amazing. I was like, oh my god, this is so quick. Uh, and I think you could get like unlimited data uh, either per month or by blocks of three months with 3B. And, you know, the three-month block for unlimited data was £90, which is about... Uh, let me find it. £90 is... Uh, about 4,500 rupees for three months of unlimited data, pays you go. Uh, so that was cool. That was cool. And uh, yeah, and then obviously I was happy to be in London because the time difference to Mauritius is only three hours. So I was a lot more proactive um, in terms of working and being in touch with the yeah, team and, and what this, this is what's interesting. All this time you're still working, you're still doing your best to... Um... You know, not to drop. To work, to drop yeah. Work. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I think it's it's really important to underline that I had something to do because a lot of people yeah. Yeah. during COVID, uh, you know, suffer because they're really mm -hmm. bored. Uh, they're stuck indoors, and uh, I think in, in in UK they were uh, saying that the, you know, there were a lot of people that were, were you know suffering mentally or being depressed because you know. They had nothing to do and they were stuck at home. Do, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So that was it. Um, but on the digital side, I, I mean, I wrote an article about it in Weekly yesterday, I think. Oh, actually, I can show you. Hey. I think it's here. Yeah, I, I, I received this yesterday, by the way, by the mail. So, yeah, hey, nice. And you can read all about my adventures in mm -hmm. Weekly if you can grab a copy somewhere. Uh, it's yesterday's yeah, guys, copy. you anyway. should. <laughs> Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I think from a digital perspective, what was really interesting, so obviously I was working uh, on the fly, but also how digital was helping or managing COVID as well was very interesting, uh, which obviously Mauritius is not doing at all. And, you know, I got given like a, a folder of paper when I arrived, you know, it's like, what's this? Mm. What? <laughs> What's going on? Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, track and trace, like they ask you to kind of like, as soon as you enter the country, kind of uh, QR code with your phone, uh, secure connection, enter your details, and that goes like up, straight up to the government. Um, that was the same thing in, uh, in America, et cetera, et cetera. And it helped, you know, keeping distance. Uh, I think the, uh, Two other things that were huge, well, there's three things. There's one, online online shopping went through the roof. Like, everybody was yeah. doing online shopping. And everybody was mainly either doing food, online shopping, or, uh, mm, uh, you know, like, buying tech. I've, I've seen, like, there are, um, there are, well, I don't know whether we can we call them bars or something. Yeah, bars, I guess. They continue to offer things like happy hours through online. So online orders, you get your happy hour order <laughs> delivered to you. So even they yeah. like adapted. Uh, I mean, Uber Eats and Deliveroo were very, you know, they, they really, you know, got to work very quickly on that. So like if you ordered at the same restaurant three times in a row, you had the fourth meal kind of 50% off. Like, it, it was a big deal. There was yeah. all that. Like, Uber Eats, Deliveroo, went through the roof. Um, uh, so there was online shopping. So everything that was Amazon, um, John Lewis, all that was, you know, operating superbly. Uh, so just on that point, it was interesting because I started speaking to a lot of friends. And I was like, like so what are you guys shopping for, you know? And they were like, well, <laughs> we're mainly shopping for track suit bottoms and and like pajamas i was like this is kind of weird so why are you shopping for that it's like yeah yeah but like you know we want to stay comfortable at home because everybody's working from home now um so and it, the the funny thing was that tracksuit bottoms like right now you won't realize that i might be wearing tracksuit bottoms <laughs> that, that, that's that uh, Actually, uh, yeah, and that's what they were saying. They were like, "We wear a shirt if we have a, a like a, a you know a business call, and then we would just wear tracksuit buttons because you never see the lower half." Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, so there was that. Um, I think the second thing was, uh, sorry, was I, I know yeah. that. Um, stuff like digital and contactless payment that kind of boomed as well it's kind of we already had the tech though if you think about it it's just the, you know what was interesting with COVID? um i mean covid is bad don't, don't get me wrong <laughs> but what's interesting yeah. is in that state of pandemic the, the the things that normally are really great in terms of tech that should makes all the sense in the world to mm -hmm. be developed to be invested in they were not really going that fast and then in the state of pandemic when when humans are no longer you know in in control in a way you, you see that basically those, those obstacles it. yeah it's it's yeah. been removed and everyone just fast forwards i mean I, I remember my first zoom call that i've ever done was my dad phoning me from mauritius in houston and i was like how, how? Zoom? what how do you how <laughs> yeah i'm on zoom i'm on i'm like what <laughs> you know uh so it, it really forced everybody just to kind of like you know switch over and i hope that stays by the way as well yeah um, true and so and, and not go, go back to you you know oh let's go back to our old habits and um <laughs> you know uh, so the there was, you know, online shopping, online food delivery, uh, which was awesome. 
uh, so uh, did Uber Eats and what have you that are mainly surviving through there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think what else in terms of digital was interesting. I think, uh, yeah, that was it. And I, I think it was really interesting to see how, you know, companies were trying to reach out to get customers online as well. I think that was super um, interesting. Uh, yeah. um, mainly through, you know, online advertising, um, Facebook, yeah. so, and suddenly Google, like um, and they, they, they dodgy were, advertising are not enough anymore. They have to, they have to be. It, no, like that. I think so. They, they were like, uh, oh yeah, Facebook advertising, this is a bit boring and like, you know, people <laughs> get used to it quite quickly. So they had to come up with the, and at the same time, I don't know if you guys remember, there was a, a massive uh, backlash against Facebook as well. So a lot of companies pulled advertising money off Facebook yeah. because yes. of, uh, I, I think there was a scandal with Trump or something like that. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Or, yeah. uh, uh, you know, uh, so it, it, it was, you know, turmoil everywhere. Um, uh, nobody was taking public transport. So everything like, you know, Uber, like, was, was going through the roof. Everybody was taking Uber. Uh, I think they still do. And, uh, yeah, I think that's kind of, I, I think that's kind of like, you know, the 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 thing. So th- there were a couple of things. It wasn't all kind of online shopping. So, you know, you're at home, mm-hmm. you see something you like online, and you, you, you purchase it, uh, and then it, it gets delivered. Um, there was... For very exclusive stuff, like, you know, I bought this very exclusive pair of shoes because I've got large feet and I can only find, you know, shoes that fit me abroad. Anyway, uh, (laughs) apart from my feet size description, um, what they did was uh, an online ticketing system. So you went to the shop's website and then you selected what time you actually want to come in. And they'll make sure that for that time, there would be a limited amount of people in the shop. So, you know, um, because they had to live up because of COVID yeah. and, you know, social thing. Uh, and that's kind of how it worked, really. And it, it was interesting to see. Um, but I think all the retail was really struggling. I think, you know, all the high streets and, I, you know, there was a there was- couple of booths. Yeah, there was the oh. good and bad and the really bad, which which was COVID, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, if we, I just if we yeah, finish on, 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 on my kind of rambling on on two points <laughs> is that uh, Amazon uh, sales, uh, I mean in UK and USA, uh, so a lot of technology the two other sectors that really picked up was uh, streaming I, mean, I think disney said that they in one month they went 200 percent more subscribers and it was really interesting i was like disney really i mean i don't know are you guys fans of disney i am kind of I, 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 I wouldn't pay a it's like when happening. you don't have a choice <laughs> yes go for it yeah. <laughs> okay so there you have it it's kind of but I, so I was asking my friends, like, why are you buying Disney? Uh, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's because of the kids. And I was like, oh, yeah, because obviously the kids were at home. So you had to, like, you know, keep them entertained. So everybody was getting on a Disney, except um, I'm, I'm not happy with Disney because I think, <laughs> did anybody read that uh, they released Mulan recently, which is the kind of real time? version or the yeah, real life yeah. version and they charging on top so it's a bit like if you had netflix and then you'll you'll be charged a cinema ticket to watch the film and i'm, I'm right. like oh my god so yeah so that, I, I saw that kind of i i that, saw that, that they, did not, um, they did not really release to cinemas i think they released it just online and i was like yeah but i didn't know about that that's yeah that's no that's bad can you say that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it's, 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 it's opinionated. It's trying to it's catch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they're exactly trying to cash in because cinemas are closed. So you pay a cinema ticket to watch the film online. Anyway, 
so the, all the kind of streaming services were Netflix, Amazon, Disney Plus, Apple Plus. I started watching Apple Plus while I was, you know, abroad. And actually, it's really good. Anybody wants to venture out there, it's, it's quite good. Um, and also, uh, the gaming industry. So the gaming industry is like huge revolution. Like, everybody's gaming. Oh, yeah. And it was crazy. Like, I what's going on? Like, you know, uh, exactly. I couldn't. And I was crying. I was like, where's my PS4? I was like, oh. Anyway, I, was, uh, I couldn't play video games. Uh, but everybody was like, oh, have you played this? Have you played that? I'm streaming here. I'm streaming there, and it was crazy. And I think uh, I think YouTube or Google released a statement in April saying that there were too many people online on their services. They were trying to reduce the bandwidth for transmission. Like you couldn't watch 1080 anymore, 1080p on on YouTube. It was down Imagine crazy YouTube to like Yo, calm down, guys. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Do something else. Go outside and play. <laughs> no, but they can't go outside. <laughs> Stay inside and play. Oh, <laughs> Actually, uh, I so there was, yeah, yeah. In in I was uh, I'm saying in terms of Mauritius, um, what uh, during the during the pandemic there are a few things that I saw. Um, we obviously saw the the kind of the you know long awaited upgrade to a lot of things like distance learning became a thing. Um, they started using technologies in fields where technology should have been used since a long time ago. And, and everybody knew it, but you know, there are administrative stuff. There is, there is a lot of procedures, these kind of things block them. And, you know, the pandemic came around and like, you know, ignore all of that, let's go. They went tech and companies started in, installing VPNs and, and setting up everything so that people can work from home, which again should be something, it's, it should be commonplace. Like there before. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. there's also communities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That started coming up. I, I started watching. Uh, so I'm going to get back up to your that education point because it's really important. <laughs> uh, I started watching. Uh, so there was this fad of like you know teenagers or you know millennials were yeah. at home and like what do we do? So you know a lot of YouTubers started coming up and I got addicted to watching millennials reactions to old films and it was uh, hilarious it was so funny shout out so i started like <laughs> yeah hi guys you know if you haven't seen alien or aliens or the thing you know like these good old 1870s mm -hmm. horror films amazing go go watch it film yourself watching it post it on youtube <laughs> anyway uh, so i so i started getting it it was hilarious but on the education aspect so this is super interesting. Um, I, I think, you know, education, technology, digital, and, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand, really, because exactly. I think digital is kind of there for the transmission of, of knowledge and all this kind of stuff, and that's the basis for the internet and, and what have you. Uh, so in America, uh, they were very quick, uh, super quick for... I'd say right the secondary to school. Yeah. So, you know, you, it was a school day. You woke up at home. Like I was in with, uh, at my friend's house in, in Washington and he had two, two kids that were in secondary school. They were up at, you know, 8.30, classes at 9. And, you know, their day was all kind of like conference calling, Zoom, what have you. And they had their homework to do, which I thought was very impressive. So, you know, but however, they... I think he, he did say, you know, they still need physical contact. Um, yeah. My my mom uh, here in Mauritius runs a school for dyslexics. Uh, mm -hmm. I think somewhere in R Rose Hill. I, actually, I don't think I know it's in Rose Hill. Anyway. Uh, She's going to hear he, you. <laughs> uh, well, ho hopefully. Uh, uh, she uh, obviously panicked when, you know, the lockdown happened in Mauritius. Yeah. A couple of days later, so we have a, a Zoom call. She's like, oh, yeah, it's fine now. We're just doing through, like, Facebook Live. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, and the kids really love it. So this, this was interesting as well because, you know, dyslexic kids usually are kind of a bit more kind of techy. They're kind of curious by nature. Yeah. And they were loving it. They, they were like, wow, this is amazing, you know. Kind Why of, did we do this before? Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> exactly. And then, and th that was the comment of my mum. She was like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to open the school for like one or two days a week now. And the rest mm -hmm. is going to be online and what have you. But then again, it's kind of the whole dynamic of the family. So like if people still have to go to work uh, and what have you, or the parents still have to go to work, I think that's quite mm -hmm. difficult as well. Um, yeah, true. And I think, I'm just going to finish on that. I think, you know, all the private privacy and the security protocols and all that kind of stuff came to the forefront once again it was kind of like you know because now you've got more kids online obviously and they've got to learn yeah. and they've got to do it and it's just keeping them safe so uh that was it and then you know uh, so it was a long struggle to get back to mauritius um because air mauritius collapsed very early yeah so there were no more flights yeah. or there was you know, uh, one flight. So I had to keep in touch with the uh, Mauritian High Commission in London, uh, and they did a you know fantastic job. Um, and then, so I got my test done last week, uh, PCR test, and then I managed to get a reserve reservation flight uh, through Emirates, uh, which was mm -hmm. I think co-managed with Emirates. Uh, and there you go. And then I, I managed. I managed to arrive to Mauritius and now I'm in a hotel to hopefully the 21st of September in, in lockdown. So, yeah. and, and throughout... Oh, big Keeping shout out to Hollywood. Oh, for you. <laughs> big shout out to Holiday Inn. I'm getting amazing internet here. It's amazing. It's great. It's, uh, <laughs> I think it's 40 MBBS up and down. So it's like, yes. Come on. Yes. Someone, <laughs> someone sent like a, a really interesting comment. The pandemic told the world that you know what we geeks we already knew that's, <laughs> yeah. that's kind of true yeah. yeah um actually to 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 a bit conclude on on the part about in how things were going in mauritius besides the, the education the work thing um i was as i was saying that the communities um i've seen some really interesting things um for example there's the mauritius maker community um when this broke out yeah. Uh, I think I think it was Jovan. I'm I'm not sure. I don't <laughs> quite remember. I, it's been I a while. But I'm I'm going to take a, a a good guess and say it was Jovan, <laughs> who um, posted something and was like, "Yeah, what can we do, guys? We are makers. What can we do?" And everybody, if you have ideas, if you need equipment, you need CNC machines, you need to you know get some PCBs or something. Let's let's sync. Let's sync. And uh, if I remember correctly, they even tried to build, I'm, I'm not sure if it was completed. Maybe, Jovan, if you're around, or maybe afterwards, um, just shout out if it was or really someone completed. someone from the maker community, too. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, uh, someone from the, I, I'm from the maker community. But yeah, I don't yeah. know if this project, okay. yeah. But I don't know if the project was completed. They were trying to make a face shield, um, like a, a, a controlled one that can be used for disinfection and decontamination process, if I remember correctly. Mm. I'm not going to say this was it, but yeah. I'm pretty sure this was what they were trying to do. Yes. And yeah. so it was kind of interesting. I, yeah. I, I saw that the, uh, what well, was abroad, the um, University of Mauritius were trying to make, uh, is it respiratory um, or, you know, things to help breathe for yeah. people that have I'm COVID? Not, because uh, they I'm not too sure if that was completed, uh, but they, they they were trying. Oh, oh, and by the way, so there's a, there's a couple, in terms of you know Mauritius and digital, uh, super important in terms of our, all our digital platforms. It all went through the roof um, yeah. for a couple of reasons. It wasn't just COVID. It was unfortunately you know Wakasha as well, which you know happened a lot more recently, yeah. and Mauritius it was horrible. One after the other, we've been. <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, 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 yeah. And it, I, 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 I'm really sad, but I don't think we have seen the last of COVID either, because at some stage or another, we're going to have to reopen our borders. Uh, yeah. And it, it's, it's not going to be, we can't, I think, stay isolated forever. Exactly. It's uh, a, I hope not. Yeah. There's no clear cut answer here. Like, we, we can't stay yeah. shut down forever and, and stay isolated. And if we open, there is that risk. So we, we, we have to find yeah. the ground. We need to learn to adapt. Yeah. 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 Uh, or, and live with it. And I, 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 well, to be honest, I think every government has is struggling 
massively with COVID. Uh, uh, Wakasha is kind of like this different, you know, aberration mm-hmm. of what happened. And it, it, it was really sad. I mean, so I was following that from London, you know, through Facebook, through our website, what have you. Um, I, I, I just, uh, so apart from that very sad, you know, of ongoing events, yeah. turn of events, um, we, at last, you know, we had to, in emergency, because of the COVID lockdown, we couldn't print newspapers anymore. So oh. uh, if, if people don't realize that. So we had to release our digital publication uh, portal in urgency. Like, it was literally like, okay, guys, we have to go now, 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 now. We have no and choice. And it was like, <laughs> we have no choice. And, and it was scheduled to be released in June. And we, I think we released it in March, uh, which was way, and we didn't do any yeah, that's campaign. Yeah, that's way earlier. Way earlier. Yeah. Yeah. And we were like, come on, uh, you know, let's go. And uh, so we started building up this kind of digital subscription. Uh, mm-hmm. And now we've got good experience running it. So yeah, that's that was interesting. Uh, and, and it's still running. So you can see, like, you know, kiosk.lasantinel.mu. Uh, Kind of regroups all the publications of La Sentinelle in a digital format. I'm, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna send the link in the chat if someone wants to have a look. Yeah. Uh, so it's, let me let me type it here. Uh, yeah, is that, uh, that's probably spelled. There you go. Uh, and you can have a look and you can purchase. Uh, so for us, it was. I mean, that project alone was a year in development. Like, we started working on that project in January 2019. And the biggest stumbling blocks for, you know, all you digital heads was getting an Apple account and getting a Google account. Well, Google's okay. Apple (laughs) is, wow. It's, oh, my God. Uh, I've been through that. uh, (laughs) I concur. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, and the the the, the, the back end and every oh, oh my god, it was it was you know it was incredible. Anyway, uh, so we managed to release that, and I think there's going to be more of that kind of stuff coming um, as we kind of try and build this kind of like you know digital subscription model uh, because if there's no physical product anymore, um, you know. Maybe it's a good thing. I mean, it's true that it was rushed in a way. Um, and uh, geeks will know that, you know, that those last months that you kind of skipped, those are like the, the most critical months. This this is where a lot of things are going to happen and you have a lot of work to do. So you guys kind of pulled through. That's uh, that's amazing. Um, uh, yeah. But it's a, it, all's well that ends well, right? Yeah. No, it was a good job. I, I, but just it, it was it, it, it's for me it's it's okay but i just want to underline uh, another thing which i think you know digital heads don't talk about enough in mauritius mm-hmm. and generally in this part of the world uh, and i think a lot of people especially in business uh, like any other it's about making money it's it's about profitability you know i, I have to answer to my management i have to answer to Mm -hmm. i have to keep people employed obviously and all this kind of stuff so it is about making money whether you like it or not uh, because you need to survive you need to pay your bills you need to do exit yeah Uh, one of the biggest issues i found in mauritius when we were developing this portal and then released it in an urgency was um the uh issue towards online payments um and it, it, and it is a big issue, and I, you know, I really want to talk about it. And now I'm back in Mauritius, so I'm going to go do a couple of meetings to discuss it. Uh, mm-hmm. So we had the uh, we had the MCB. So we're with the MCB. We're also with Apple Pay, and we're uh-huh. also with PayPal. Now, okay, out of out of those three in the kiosk, uh, MCB is the only one that deals in rupees. Okay. Uh-huh. Apple, okay. euros, dot, euro, dollar, PayPal, euro, dollar. So immediately you kind of go, well, how are you supposed to be selling something online if mm-hmm. the 
the only auto of payment is the MCBs. Yeah. Uh, and it's, to be honest, fair play to the MTB, but their portal isn't that great, and it's a bit clunky, and I think they are under tough regulation for MasterCard as well, because that's their, you know, payment portal, effectively. Um, yeah. And I just want to put it out there, because, you know, it's all fair and well going, okay, we're going to go digital, but tomorrow, if anybody has a product to sell in Mauritius, How do you it, do it's it? a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's a, it is a pain in the ass. Uh, especially with the Mauritian rupee. So, you know, we're working on that and we're, 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 we're trying to get somewhere with that. Yeah. yeah, it's time that the companies realize that, um, you know, we are paying customers, so they have to give us something that um, basically we have to get a good service. We are paying for this. So normally, um, yeah, we, we are kind of isolated in those fields. I think it's yeah. time though, right, Marin? <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, Loic. That was a very interesting <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yes, I see a lot of yeah. I see a lot of encouragement being sent yes, your way. Yes, so much we could talk <laughs> about again. Yeah, maybe true. next time <laughs> you're free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe next time in a physical good and coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going back to bed now because I, I woke up really early. I, I still jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Go back to shifting time zones. Well, thank it's you okay. so much. <laughs> exactly. All right. We thank had you guys. Next time. Uh, with and, you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to everybody, Yoki, and everybody who's doing a fantastic job for for making Yoki. this come happen. And uh, yeah. Uh, um, and yeah. Stay strong, people. Stay strong. Thank Louis. you so much. I mean, you've been, you're already plenty strong. You're a Spartan now. <laughs> good so luck. Good. You. you got this. <laughs> <laughs> got this. Okay. All right. See you in the next bye. one week. Bye. Bye. Yes. Bye.